Hello there, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swish and I'm reviewing Verizon, which was the Stock Swish show play of the day. Really nice trade here, really nice short. Again, this was a gap down. So for those of you that don't know what I do, I only trade gaps. Sometimes we go long, sometimes we short, but I prefer to short. And again, of course, it's earnings season. You have gaps for many, many reasons. Could be sector gaps, could be the market, could be news, could be whatever. Uh, this just happened to be an earnings gap. So let's take a look at it. Stock closed here. This was Friday at 41.62. Boom. Open in the morning at 39.95. So snug as a bug in here. In fact, ran up, touched 40 on the nose. Fell off a planet. We had a good exit in this, but I'm just looking here. This came down to 38.70 today. So you could have actually done an afternoon short in this. Uh, not the end of the day yet, but certainly will close week for sure. Um, here in the... Verizon, let's go over. So what did we do today? We got in it very quickly, got the drop, got out. Actually, you could have, again, like I said, you could have done this again. You could have done this again. There's actually a lot of setups in this today. So typically, I like to trade the morning and get out very, very quickly. But this had quite a few setups in here, this today. And this is on its own, totally on its own. Doesn't need the market, sold off like a hot cake. Again, my whole process is trying to figure out what I'm going to do in the pre-market in the morning. So I knew this morning when I got up and saw this that I was going to trade it, short it. Having that pre-planned plan of action of what to do is so helpful. It just takes all the stress off. Again, I don't enter the trade in the pre-market. I don't trade the pre-market. Some people do. I don't do that. You can't use stops and it doesn't have as much volume, but there was volume in this actually before the open. You could have theoretically been in it in the pre-market. For me, I like the way to trade in the day, put the stops in. Again, I use limit orders and again, you have more volume, but I, I want to know ahead of time whether I'm going to do it or not. And again, in what direction I still wait for the setup. I still have to wait for it to set up. It may not set up and I may not do it, but in this case here, it did. So 39 was good. This could have gone to 38.50. It could have gone to 38, could have gone, could keep going tomorrow, you know? So we actually did not do an option in this. You could have, you could have done an option in this and it would have worked, um, but we're in some other things already, which I think is good. So, so far it's been a really great start to earnings season. I mean, this is the time where you have a lot of activity, stocks have big moves, Verizon is a good example of this. This is a huge move for this stock on the day. And again, it's just the time to, as they say, make the donuts. You know, this is the time to make money. This is the time people should be trading. People will say, oh, summer trading. Actually, it can be very, very busy in the summer. It, it can be busy any time of the year, as long as you find good stocks to trade, but particularly earnings season, because there's so many things that are moving and they're having big moves with volume and momentum moves. And again, this was a great short. So if you have questions, if you'd like to sign up for the live class, there's only one more class this weekend, July 27th and 28th. After that, there's no more online classes until October, months and months and months away because there's no classes in August and I'm doing a live class in New York in September, which is really exciting, never done that before. So that's gonna be my main focus. And uh, so if you wanna get in and start training with us, now's the time. Again, email me at melissathestockswitch.com if you have any questions. Great job today and everybody that did Verizon. Everybody got it. And we will see what we will get tomorrow. Another exciting day. Have a great day, everyone.